Hello, Darth Vigan here, back with another episode of Kerbal Space Program Season 4. I believe today is the day that we're going to go to Jewel. And so, uh, I think I have a ship ready. I did a test run with it, and it was pretty successful. Alright, it is called the Jewel Exploration Vehicle, and it is, it's a hoss of a rocket. Uh, it has our typical interplanetary transfer that we use and then I've got room for seven Kerbals in here and Then we've got a lander can as usual that we're going to use to uh, to send Kerbals to one of the moons and then we've got these smaller probes to send to the other moons and then we've got one satellite that we're going to send uh, around Jewel to, uh, to act as a relay. The only thing I'm thinking is since, uh, well, since Elu, I mean, not Elu, since Jewel has one moon that has an atmosphere to lathe, um, I was going to send the Kerbals to that, but, um, I don't know that I'm actually going to do that now. Because uh, I have to put parachutes on this, and I did not do that. Um, uh, and and I don't know that it has the fuel necessary to get off, get off of lathe. In fact, I don't think any of these had the fuel necessary to get off of lathe. So, um, I'm just wondering, perhaps I should. I'm gonna go ahead and put some parachutes on there. We may try it. We may we may get a little. We may get a little frisky. And try to uh, to get ourselves onto lathe here. That would be a great idea. Okay, so I think I think we're ready. I am gonna go ahead and put just a few tools in here just in case. You just never know. You just never know. So I'm gonna put a fuel container in there, and then I'm gonna put in a wrench, of course, and uh, let's put two fuel containers. Well, let's put some in the other seat because uh, well if they have to bail out I want them both to have a fuel container <laughs> like they did on what was it Elu where they had to, to bail out okay so um, I think we're ready I think this I think this will get us to where we want to go I was thinking about maybe putting some micro satellites on there um, like with some of these little bitty ant engines Man, I'm going to do it. Hold on a second. I'm going to do this. All right, so I added these little little tiny relays. They, they won't have much fuel at all. In fact, we probably will have to put them into position with one of these guys, with this, uh, with this guy here. And I haven't decided if I'm going to transfer from Jewel to each moon with the transfer vehicle or if we're going to use this uh, monstrosity to release the probes on into their appropriate places but uh it's gonna have a a tiny amount of fuel like barely enough to get itself into position but i thought it might be cool just to have a few little extra relays going in there if nothing else we can put them in uh in orbit of jewel in uh in different places so anyway i thought it might be neat just to have these little, little tiny satellites going out there along with the probes that will be landing on the surface. Okay, so let's go ahead and get uh, let's get this thing up in the air. I am ready to go to Jewel. Are you? I hope so. What? Wait. What is this? What is this thing? EVA fuel canister. I don't want that. What was that doing out there? Did I not put it in the seat? There we go. I did. Anything else I want to put in here before we go? Um, anything else? I could put uh, something like an extra battery or extra solar panel, stuff like that. But I think I think we're good. All right, so I got two scientists, two engineers, and two pilots. 
Uh, who else do I want? There's a, I got a lot of people missing here. Where, where's all my other people? Are they on a mission somewhere and I've just forgotten? Probably. They're probably on one of the stations. Well, that sucks. I probably need one more pilot. Sean or Takami? Uh, let's take... Let's take Sean. Alright, so we got three pilots, two scientists, two engineers... And, uh, I think that'll be, I think that'll do it. All right, ready for launch in three, two, one, launch. Oh, that feels like a kick in the gut whenever those vectors start up. Okay, but I'm not using vectors. Yeah, I'm using vectors. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking I put a mammoth on there. Okay, so um, we are going to go ahead and get this thing up into orbit. And I did a test run of this thing, and it was able to get into orbit no problem. And then I brought the command module and the hitchhiker back down, and uh, it worked. It was a million dollar test because this is a million dollar rocket, but it was worth it. I wanted to make sure I had enough shoots and stuff on those uh, on those landing modules to uh, be a successful retrieval of the Kerbals. So, we're off, and I will see you guys in orbit. Boom, and we are almost into orbit. It's been a long, shallow climb to orbit, and uh, I knew it would be because of my test flight, but uh, it is almost done, and I wanted to show the awesome deployment of that massive clamshell, <laughs> even though it's like 20 frames per second here, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, we're almost there. So we're going to go ahead and get into orbit, and I'm going to uh, detach this thing. I believe I put a uh, probodobodon on this so that I could uh, get into orbit fully and then detach this and navigate it down and even land it if we have enough fuel. We'll see. All right, let's try it. We're going to try it out. Let's see if we can finish up our orbit here. I'm going to go ahead and speed up time to get to our apoapsis and we will... Yeah, that was a little close there. Let's go ahead and get into orbit fully with this thing. Normally I would uh, ditch it right before I get to orbit and then use the up the transfer stage to, to get us uh, all the way into orbit, but I didn't want to shoot this radioactive material into the Earth's atmosphere. I think I had to do that last time. 
I didn't want to do it this time. So we're not going to. We're going to. We are going to do this instead. Where is my separator for this thing? Okay, we'll just do it manually. All right, so we are going to do object separation here. I'm going to go ahead and open up my solar panel so that thing can breathe. There we go. Breathe in some of that nice solar wind. We are going to detach this module. This thing is now fully in orbit. And the module here is going to need to uh, let it separate further, further, further before I turn and burn. And we're going to take this thing. Look at that. It still has 3458 without all that weight on there. That's a lot of fuel. Um, yeah, I only used about half of its fuel. The uh, But with this thing, it only had like a few hundred delta V left. So that's, that's hilarious. Just going to show you. Take mass out of the equation. And uh, burn a lot longer. Okay. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm going to... We're almost clear. Almost clear. We are clear. I'm going to go ahead and turn. And we'll do a, just a small burn so that we get out of the path of the vessel. And do a small burn here. There we go. And then I guess we are going to go ahead and do an orbit and try to land near the space center. So I'm going to... Oops, come over here. We're going to warp there. Let's warp about right here. That way we can uh, try to land as close to the Space Center as possible to get a little bit of our funds back, at least. And here we go. Nicely done. Looks like I still got a moon lander in orbit here. What's up with that? Okay. We are almost ready to begin our burn. Let's go ahead and warp up just a little bit further. All right, I'm going to go into retrograde, which looks like I'm already in position for a retrograde burn. And hopefully it survives re-entry here. So we're going to do a retrograde burn. And we're going to see if we can get... I did turn off the trajectories mod, unfortunately. It was causing me all kinds of problems. And I had to turn off clouds, too, from EVE. Uh, so yeah, I had to turn off a lot of mods. I don't the re when I did my reinstall of Kerbal, a lot of the mods didn't work anymore. <laughs> so it's unfortunate, but true. What? Stop! Stop! Why are you not? Why are you not responding to me? <sighs> I had a little menu up. It was not responding to my keystrokes. Now I have to burn forward. <laughs> uh, I guess I had right click somewhere. Okay. Uh, D -D -D -D. The throttle was stuck, as they would say. Let's go ahead and burn it up just a little bit. Something like I'm gonna go burn a little extra forward. That way I can uh, I can slow down and stop as we uh, get near the space center here. All right. So this was a pretty expensive part of the uh, of the thing. That's, that these rhinos are not cheap. They are not cheap. In fact, they are as expensive as five vectors. <laughs> so not a not a cheap uh, not a cheap part at all. So I thought it might be fun to recover it if we could. A little bit of extra time added in, but I think it'd be worth it because I think it's it's cool to try to retrieve as many pieces as you can of these rockets. Um. You can't do anything about the, like, I tried to put, like, uh, parachutes on those boosters that, uh, that detach in flight to see if they would automatically deploy, and they, they won't, they won't automatically deploy. They still, they, even though they stage, they're going too fast, so, and then they won't deploy if you're not on them, apparently, so. I couldn't get it to work. Maybe uh, there's a mod out there, probably, that does it, but, uh, I think there is a mod I remember seeing something about, uh, re recoverable parts or something, something like that. might be cool to check out sometime all right we are coming in pretty hot pretty hot and heavy I do see the uh, the old thing up there ahead the old space center it's just getting pretty warm 
pretty warm and spinning around is not doing much to to cool us down. I'm wondering if I can slow us down a little bit like this. That'll slow us down. There you go. How about that? How do you like them apples? I like them just fine. I like those apples just fine. Real ladylike. Pink lady apples. My favorite. Slow down. Slow down, Johnny. Slow it on down. Uh oh. I forgot to close Discord. Sorry about that, guys. Here we go. Come on, drogue shoots. Slow me down. Oh, look at that. Look at this beautiful landing. I have never had such a beautiful landing. Well, that's, that's probably not true. That's probably not true, but regardless, it is a beautiful landing indeed. It is a beautiful landing indeed. Coming in pretty fast for all these shoots. I don't know that the rocket engine can sustain an impact of that magnitude, so I may just go ahead and do just a little bit of a blast right there before we land and see if we can pull it off here. Bink. And we did it! <laughs> oh, I'm too happy about that. Uh, the happiness doesn't coincide with the reward, but that's okay. I got almost 50,000 funds back from that. Alright, we are ready to plot a course to Jewel now. And so, we are going to uh, go to the map mode here. I did make sure that we were in the correct alignment with Jewel before I launched. So I'm going to set that as my target and I'm going to add a maneuver node. I should have done that before I zoomed out. Let's do it on the prograde side here. All right, here we go. To Jewel. All right, Jewel is relatively easy to capture because for one thing it's huge. And for another thing, the plane is relatively similar to that of Kerbin. So, uh, it's not it's not as difficult to capture as some of the other uh, planets here. So, um, let's uh, see if we can dial this in a little bit. And so you can see we've captured like really far away. <laughs> really far away. Okay, so let's uh, see if we can bring that in a little bit. All right, I should be able to bring that down further outside of the sphere of influence of Kerbin, I think, to uh, to something a little more reasonable down here, around here. So uh, we got Pole, we got Bop, we've got Tylo, we've got Lathe, and we've got Vol. I've never been to any of them except Lathe, <laughs> ever. I know that for a fact. So I don't know how much Delta V it takes to get from Jewel to these things. I'm assuming maybe Pole takes quite a bit because it looks like it's pretty far out. So we may not be able to get our probes there, but we're gonna give it the old college try. We're gonna give it the old college try. If we can, uh, if we can at least get into uh, Jewel's orbit and uh, see what Delta V we have left from there, then we'll we'll go from there. So. I'm going to go ahead and swing around to this burn. It is a good nine minute burn. Good God almighty, that's a long time to wait. But, uh, yeah, we're going to do it. And then, uh, yeah, after we do that, uh, that long, long, sweet, long burn, what have we had here? Got uh, science, seismic data from Drez. Interesting. Wow. I wonder what crashed into Drez. I don't know, but I got 22 science for it. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. I, I installed better time warp, but I have no idea how to use it. Uh, I don't see anything over here that would indicate 
how to use better time warp. So, I guess I will not be using better time warp. Uh, so, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Ready to burn. And initiate burn now. Uh, initiate burn now. There we go. <laughs> you gotta see the beautiful. There we go. I didn't even check to see a. This is not gonna knock me into atmosphere, is it? No. That way it's not. Alright, we are just about there. Let's see if we can just burn this down a little bit. Looks like we've actually did a little better than was projected. So, I'm going to go ahead and stop right there. I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out. We are going to go to our path here and set a maneuver node here at our ascending node. And we're going to try to bring this down a little bit here just a little. And then we can try to capture some of these others. We won't do an arrow capture of anything, I don't think. Uh, let's go ahead and spin up to our next maneuver node that's 15 days away okay whoa did we what happened where'd our what our trajectory go oh my god what the heck what the heck did I pass within another body or something surely not maybe I did uh, good enough, I guess. All right, here we go. Get into position. Do our burn. And I hope I have enough fuel <laughs> to get back home. Oh, uh, we're using up a lot of juice. Using up a lot of juice. It's still a really heavy rocket. Until I get rid of some of these probes. But as soon as we get there, we'll we'll get into orbit of Jewel. We'll dump this satellite first. That's gonna be the first thing to go. And then I, I thought I guess we're gonna be hauling this thing around for a while. I'm guessing. I'm gonna go ahead and disable crossfeed. I don't want them stealing fuel from these modules up here. There we go. Could have been better, I think, but uh, could have been worse. Let's see if we, if we tap it. Okay. It's just getting a little further away. Okay. All right. So, um, what now? Well, maybe your question. I think we're just going to. We could try one more tiny burn just to straighten up a little bit more, but I think we're just going to go with it. I think we're just going to go with it. I am going to go ahead and see if uh why is this not set as my target it's weird i'm gonna go see if uh we can see how much it'll take to get into orbit and it's going to take us a good thousand almost two thousand but we don't have to go that far in we could go further out and hopefully maybe get an intersection with one of the moons straight away. You know what I mean? Might have to do several orbits. But... Let's go as far out as possible. Yeah, it looked like I had an intersection with one of them right away. Cool. So we'll do this. And then we'll see if we can get some intersection with some of these moons. And it's just a lot cheaper. So, okay. I am going to do a quick save. There we go. And time to warp towards the three year trip. It's not too bad. Uh, yeah. Are you guys ready for a three year journey? I think they are ready. Did you get your lunches packed? <laughs> Pack in some extra underwear. And, uh,. Let's get this show on the road.
Now this is this is probably going to be a several episode journey. This this first episode is going to be the trip to Jewel, and then uh, probably the second episode is probably going to be one or two of the of the moons, and then maybe third episode another one or two of the moons. So it, it'll be fun. It will be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, we're coming into the airspace of Jewel. If I can find it. It's still really far away, I guess. Up oh, there it is. Whew. It zipped in there. Okay. So. Oh, <laughs> no, there it is. That's one of the moons. Okay. <laughs> it snuck up behind me. All right, so. Um, yeah, it's, there's moons all around. We're surrounded by moons. That's not a moon. That's a space station. Anyway, we are ready to do our orbital insertion burn around Jewel here. We are going to uh, we'll get ourselves into this orbit. We'll detach this big boy satellite here. And he will get into a more uh, circular orbit so that he doesn't intersect with the moons. And then uh, we'll probably end this episode. And we'll, next episode, we'll start with a probe to one of the moons. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, we'll be in good shape. So let's go ahead and get ourselves into orbit here. There'll be another two-minute burn, but it shouldn't be too bad. We got first milestone. Uh, initiated the first flyby of Jewel. Awesome. We're going to have lots of new science, lots of new milestones in this mission. Um as we initiate uh, interactions with all these different moons. So yeah, uh, yeah. I've only been to Jewel a couple of times. Uh, I tried to land on Lathe quite unsuccessfully, I might add. Um, and then I think I did have one successful landing on Lathe. It was pretty much just like Kerbin. <laughs> um, wasn't super exciting. I don't think they've done the retexture of Lathe yet. It does have lots of oceans, I remember that. Um, the, um, the other moons I have not ever been to, so it will be interesting to, uh, to check them out and, uh, see what they, I think, I guess that's laid there. Um, I'm not sure which one this one is or this one, but laid, I think is the closest to Jewel and that looks pretty close. Well, it's all in perspective, right? So it could be the furthest one away and just bigger for all I know. Yeah. Don't let your mind play tricks on you boys and girls. All right, we are almost ready. Looks like we are now in orbit of Jewel. Got a nice tasty orbit. It is a uh, looks like a 17 day orbit maybe. That's, that's pretty good. Um so yeah, we've got a nice little orbit going here. We should have intersections with many of the moons as we make our orbit. Maybe not with this one, with Bop. Looks like it's a little canted quite a bit there, so it may be a little tricky to get to, but we'll figure it out. Um, I am going to go ahead and detach our satellite. I don't know if I want it to be orbiting down here or maybe orbiting out here. I'm thinking orbiting out here would be better. That way it doesn't pass behind the planet quite as often, so... Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and detach it now though, and then maybe we'll add a maneuver node here and do something like a radial, no, don't, don't do that, that's sweet. We do a radial like that, it's 814 and then we could do... I think that we could do that, and then we could come in, burn, yeah, do something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and detach this satellite. He is going to fly separately from us, and uh, hopefully, we don't get any intersections this journey. Are we ready to decouple? I'm gonna go ahead and quick save it just in case something blows up. Uh, yes, decouple, and there he goes, he's off. He, how much delta V does he got? 3130. That's not bad. 
Not bad at all. I didn't add these guys to a uh, to a group, so let's go ahead and do that now. There we go. And he should get some science as well. I do have a reaction wheel on him. All right, so let's get with him up to here. Let's add a maneuver. Let's see if we can <clears throat> do the same thing we had planned out with our other guy there. Let's just bring this out something like that. Bring that in. Something, it's not that. Something like that. It's probably a much more efficient way to do this burn, but I don't care. Don't care. I don't anticipate using this satellite ever again, so I think we'll just do something like that. 1506. That should do it. Be about half of our delta V. So I'm going to activate the engine. We are going to fly up there. Wee! Two-day journey. There we go. And we're going to get on to our maneuver node here. And we are going to burn for four minutes. Well, we've seen a lot of four-minute burns in our days, haven't we? Yes, we have. All right, ready? And burn. So this should put this in a good position to give uh, good communications to our uh, other vessels. Well, I guess it depends on how good of antennas they have. If they have good enough antenna, they should be able to reach this. No problem. And then get a uh, connection back to Kerbin. That's the idea anyway. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more episodes of Kerbal Space Program with me, Darth Vegan. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.